Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with some more Incursion 2.3 raid guides here. Uh, more specifically guys, I have not actually touched the skill section at all in my account. Uh, we finally got leveled up some of these Spire Society characters, but I also at the same time want to capture what the min max is going to be like. Now, I have actually tried it on the boss gnome. It doesn't have much success, but what I'm going to show you guys is a very, very uh, low budget value Spire Society team. We're going to go through each of the upgrades respectively and go through the first two nodes. And this team can absolutely crush through it. Um, I'm going to keep kind of tinkering around and see what it's going to take to actually get through to the mob boss node ultimately. But in the meantime, if you guys are trying to build up a budget team, I can assure you this is going to actually get you through the first two nodes and obviously coordinate with your alliance mates to finish up and wrap up that last and final node of the skill section so here you guys have it this is my full spire society team right here and what's really promising about this is the newest characters in penny parker we got spire man pavitra and as well as peter b parker all only being level 80 i believe they're geared to 15 um and i am working my way up and building up gold spider here she's the strongest one out of the uh, five just because of her three diamond that we've accomplished uh, from the past events in addition to that I've already had her built up previously as a web warrior so it's nice that we can just double dip on the value here as well spire man noir I'm um, having everything upgraded but with him having value in tangle web I love the fact that we can bring him in now with the reworks and stuff so this is absolutely huge as for penny parker you know these are respective upgrades here got her with the isolate striker uh, pavitra does do some really really good damage so we have him also a striker and then finally peter b parker providing the support of a healing capabilities uh, having the isolate healer is definitely very very meaningful so uh, without further ado guys let me show you the gameplay here um just going through it right now just because we have some energy here but how i like my placement usually typically is just putting in um both peter b parker and penny on opposites corner just because they are the more supportive cast members you want them to be shouldered away from damage as you can see my total team power is only about a million so this team value right here is really really big if you just want to be starting you know getting that uh, initial attempts here in the nodes but as well making some meaningful uh, progress as you're going through so first and foremost i like to start things off with no uh you know spider-man noir's uh, devastating bleeds during the corner but we want to be focusing in on key targets like archangel as well as uh thor infinity war just because they do a lot of damage in these nodes um so what we want to be doing is trying to cast as much conditions as you can and we're going to be using Ghost Spider and the fact that she can spread all these buffs, debuffs, is absolutely huge. I also like the fact that Peter B. Parker actually has a blind here. So we're going to use that actually on uh, Archangel here. And with it landing, uh, this is going to be an opportune moment. Um, and Penny is absolutely huge, guys. Every time you get a chance to use her, make sure you're using her, her spe ultimate or special. Uh, typically, they can land a stun, but unless some of these enemies have higher resistances, that's okay. Now that uh, Archangel has the majority of these buffs with the blinds, I am actually going to spread that across the board there thanks to Ghost Spider's ultimate. Uh, and this team just does not need to really worry about energy, which is great. So um, they're always going to get a reset upon the start of the node. So definitely be mindful of that. You want to make sure you're taking advantage every, each and every time. You, to be honest, you could probably auto these nodes with this team, but I just want to show you the gameplay footage. So that way, if you guys are following along, maybe you have a weaker team or specific characters, then you can actually uh, follow this as well. We can see we're just trucking through it pretty straightforward our team has all the buffs their team has all the debuffs so pretty standard here again our focus is going to be focusing on the main damage dealers there they're going to get their chances here for example korg having a taunt you're going to have to just uh, bide your time to try to get through it but what's nice about this energy is that we're again we just have so many buffs on our team that even though our team is under leveled um, we're getting a lot of value in the sense that these characters uh, can really hold up um their end of the of, of punching up of course again we're having some focus here on infinity war as well as archangel nothing crazy here but it's just get, getting a chance to line as many debuffs as you can and spreading it once again uh it might have to come to just you getting your abilities back and then using it once again right but um as you can see it's not too bad but we are we do need to be mindful of the time here because what i have noticed about this anyways is that um, if you're taking your time too much with the attacks, um, you may actually run out of time. So uh, this team can get the job done and more so whether or not you have the, the time uh, to be able to ensure that this gets completed successfully. So we're still, I think we're still doing okay. 9 out of 12 enemies left. There's only a couple that haven't spawned just yet, but we can see both Archangel and Infinity War Thor are almost down. Um, and you know what? I am going to use the ultimate there because we're going to get the energy back anyways. We have these Captain America World War II's that are also um, able to actually 
uh, rewind us in terms of turn meter. So if you're able to, landing an ability block or stun on them is probably going to be really good too. And now we're left with just the last six enemies of this wave. So I, th I still think we're doing good for time. But in this last uh, wave, it did spawn an Archangel and a Dark Beast. So we're going to be doing something similar to what we just did initially, right? Trying to land the blind. Trying to get as much kind of debuffs on these characters. Uh, I know, you know, uh, Dark Beast, he can actually uh, revive, um, you know, a fallen uh, Death Seed member. So we definitely want to be mindful of that. So we're going to get activate the ability block on him. That's good there. This Archangel, however, is not controlled, so we're definitely going to need to be focusing on him now. So we're switching gears here. But yeah, you can see, guys, it's really just about using the team synergy and focusing in on those key enemies that need to be taken down before they get their abilities off. And even if they do, the amount of debuffs that we have that can protect our team is pretty amazing with this team synergy. So I am actually going to switch it to auto. I'm noticing my time isn't doing uh, too great right now, but... Hitting this to auto, we should be able to just focus in now on Archangel. Just pivot a bit here. Some of these characters getting the taunt is actually what messes us up a little bit. But you can see we have the retaliation attacks. One minute re remaining. So yeah, very, very tight, guys, as you can see. Maybe I should have uh, focused more on actually um, uh, focusing in my attacks more. But you can see the bleeds is what actually helps. Uh, five remaining, 48 seconds. So still looking pretty good, I think. And timing, and as you saw from this note, it's really about timing those key uh, pivotal abilities when you can, uh, especially with Ghost Spider. But again, the nice thing about these characters is that once we finish them off, we don't really need to worry about the cooldowns, which is uh, great to see here. And again, saving that pivotal Ghost Spider ultimate is pretty big. And thankfully, only left with uh, World War II there at the very end there. So that wraps up no one. So again, pretty straightforward, right? Not too bad. Um, I think it's still pretty time condensed too for the second node. So you want to be mindful. We're gonna, we want to employ the same strategy, which is going forward, um, inflicting as many debuffs as we can, spreading your Ghost Spider, once again, doing it the 1 million team. But yeah, this team works so well. And um, now I'm just trying to work my way up to see how high can we push it or do we need to push them in order to complete the boss node by themselves. I do feel like it is a big step up though. So I think hardest thing about this node is that we're up against with some pretty speedy characters while also being mindful of the fact that there is a rogue that can roadblock us with her abilities if she gets to go first. So we definitely want to be watching for that. But we need we have some key characters that we absolutely need to control. Um, there's a Kang, there's a Rogue, there's a Taskmaster, uh, Silver Surfer. So just a boatload of enemies that are really, really dangerous, especially if they get their abilities off. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Thankfully, here, as you guys can see, um, we by using Pavitra's ultimate, trauma is really big because now we can actually land, ideally, a blind on Kang. And that, that now it won't be stripped, right? And what you also want to be doing is, if you can, actually, I'm going to activate the ultimate there on Rogue. Unfortunately, the stun did not land. But, I mean, that's kind of what you want to be doing, right? Controlling some of these key characters. That's okay. It missed. But we still have Ghost Spider's ultimate here with the blind that can spread. And they have the trauma too, so this is really this is really helpful. Look at this, look at the mass amount of debuffs on this on this wave. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful synergy. Um, Kang doesn't even get a chance to uh, actually heal himself because we have the ability block, excuse me, the heal block in addition to trauma, which absolutely crushes these these enemies here. And we're just focusing on this right side because there's some dangerous, dangerous enemies that we're up against here, especially if they get their abilities off. Now we're focusing on Rogue and Taskmaster, uh, especially Taskmaster having the blind, but as well, I believe. I believe his abilities actually go through the blind too. So we're just going to focus him a little bit. And while also needing to be mindful of that uh, that Silver Surfer, because he can also still get his turn off. So we're going to see if we can stun one more time. It'd be great if we can. And just preventing Rogue from becoming that roadblock for the taunt, right? And yeah, now we're actually in a really good spot. But once again, 10 enemies remaining, 3 minutes. I think, I think we're still doing okay for time. We have a lot of debuffs, but you saw earlier, guys. It, I think the key to these nodes, or especially if you're using a weaker uh, Spire Society team, is going to be kind of timing that that big, pivotal Ghost Spider Ultimate. Um, and now, lastly, this last wave here, um, obviously being mindful of the, the debuffs that can be cast uh, from both uh, Cloak and Dagger, uh, we're going to be focusing on Shang-Chi. I'm casting the ultimate there with the offense down disruption. That way he's not getting any advantages against us. Um, and we're going to be targeting him just because he does do the most damage. So I do want to target him. Um, but also, like I believe Cloak can actually get his ultimate off too. So if you're able to get some sort of um, control, cow controlling aspect. But 5 out of 13 enemies left with 2 minutes remaining. We're doing actually really, really good here. 
yeah so that ultimate does land but we have the dodges and that actually prevented some really good damage there from being inflicted on our team and now i'm just trying to see if i can land once again another blind on shang chi so even if he gets his abilities off it doesn't really matter and then now that we know he's controlled we can stun silver surfer perfect dagger should actually get her special off here so that it's that way it's going to give a cleanser to the team but she hasn't got her ultimate off yet so we're looking pretty good gave the team a mass heal but uh, not the end of the world because everybody is still in really uh full control here another big ultimate here from gold spider and again guys if you're hopefully you're able to take advantage of that free to play um uh, diamond that was available for ghost spider from the uh, pocket dimensions event everybody getting access to this is pretty big for spire society it's made this a lot easier to take advantage of um in addition to just honestly just um steamrolling these uh, these nodes i love the animation on this team though this is a super super fun team Finishing off here with the ability block on dagger. The bleeds, boom, boom, boom. So this one uh, actually felt a little bit more smooth than the first node, obviously here. But uh, again, guys, I think the only thing is to be concerned on it are these nodes is that their animations are a bit longer. So you definitely need to be knowing who to target and what you're doing. You definitely can't take your time reading their abilities just because um, if you have a weaker team level like myself, this 1 million team, uh, you won't have that luxury uh, to go through the time. Obviously, having stronger damage dealers like Pavitra, um, as well as Ghost Spire and Noir, especially if you have one of them geared to 18. I feel like that's kind of where it's trending for, for the boss node anyways. But uh, as always, I love to make these min-max guides before I uh, fully invest and see how much it's going to take. But hopefully this helps you guys out, especially for folks starting Spire Society, building them up uh, and getting ready to dip into these Incursion 2.3, the final section, as you can see here. Now it's just the boss node that we need to figure out what that min-max is going to be like. So Hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, good luck in your guys' incursion two rates. Let me know if this is going to be uh, worthy for you if you're investing in this team as well. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.